Hello and welcome to TV Buzz. I'm George Garud and I'm coming to you live from the University of Hertfordshire. The first show I'll be talking about is Top Gear, which is the most watched show in Britain today. The three hosts are Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Hammond, where they test a multitude of cars in a variety of different locations. So, made in Chelsea, Spencer Matthews is up to his old tricks again and has only gone and cheated on Louise again. What will it take for that girl to leave that boy? He's only going to sleep with someone in the bed that they share together. And Jamie Lang, well who knew he had a girlfriend six, since October? He only went and got off of Lucy in the hot tub when they all went skiing. Little did Binky know that that was going on outside. It's quite a thing getting in shape for a new series. You've got to be physically ready. Emotionally ready. Mentally ready. And you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to show what it takes. I'm ready to give what I've got. I'm ready to say words. I'm ready to see what I must see. I'm ready to hear sounds. I'm ready to smell. Smells. I'm ready to endure horribly long, awkward pauses. I'm ready to talk about relationships. A lot. I'm ready to have lots of arguments in public. I'm ready to go dog walking with Minnie and Jasper and Herbie. I'm ready to sit around in bars and cafes far more than is necessary. I'm ready to chew the corn of my sunglasses because I'm easily distracted. I'm ready to look suspiciously well turned. I'm ready to go to the river and think about things deeply, particularly relationship matters. I'm ready to say things in Latin to look cool at parties. Laptopicus, Pestesicus, Nightswitchicus Dimorus, Coolicus. I'm ready to have huge nostrils. If I was a cereal, I'd be ready, Brick. If I was a meal, I'd be a ready meal. Particularly a lasagna or a pie. My favourite cooking show, Ready So You Cook. Because it's amazing what they can do with such random ingredients. And I'm ready. I'm hashtag ready. I'm HD ready. I'm oven ready. Are you ready for a rhetorical question? Are you ready? Wait, I'm not ready. And here is my favourite show, it's Match of the Day. Presented by Gary Lineker with a host of ex-footballers and TV pundits, where they will go through and discuss the weekend's games or even the international games themselves. Manchester United won the league this weekend. A hat-trick by Robin Van Persie sealed the trophy for them. In other news, Arsenal carried on their Champions League qualification title hunt with a 1-0 win at Fulham. Chelsea drew 2 all against Liverpool where there was a lot of controversy when Luis Suarez seemed to bite on Branislav Ivanovic's arm. It's deep in there, is he? That's what it looks like anyway. Even by Luis Suarez's standards, oh it was a shocking moment. It looks like he's actually sunk his gnashes in there. What on earth is he doing? He's been booked. A tussle with Branislav Ivanovic ends with a bite to the Chelsea defender's arm. Suarez the cannibal, now they're calling him. 30 goals have earned him a nomination as Player of the Year. But for all the glory, thanks to this, his season already... The love triangle continues in EastEnders this week with Max trying to get curses to get rid of their unborn baby. But little does he know the baby doesn't even exist. 
whilst Tanya tries to understand why he never told her, she convinces him that it's a good idea to keep the baby. Well, what's Kirsty going to do now? The week unfolds showing us her trying to get pregnant and telling Kat that that's her new plan. What will Kat do? That is the question. Can I just pay for your train first? <laughs> He's with her. What? So, Coronation Street. The love triangle continues this week with Chesney, Katie and Ryan. Why does Katie still have to keep going back to Ryan? We just don't know. Poor Chesney is getting his heart broken again. Stella still can't see Carl's bad side while everyone else is convinced he is a villain. When will she realise? And poor Dev, well, he's heartbroken and Mary has come to his aid to be the nanny for his two lost children at the moment. Thank you for watching and tune in to TV Buzz next week. Bye. Can't stop thinking about that flat. Didn't have your dad is interested in property. I'm interested in someone's property. Don't you think the decor's a little garish? What decor? Sounds like you need a second viewing. Just say when. Half three. Let's pick up the kids and I'll finish them. Can I have some sauce? Mm.